Hi Leos, how are you? Welcome to our channel. This is Gwen with Mystic Tumbleweeds. I'm here to do a surprise reading for you. I thought I'd take my little mini uh, line strider tarot that I have here and um, I've already shuffled it up for you and I'm going to look through the deck and see what um, where the death card is and the card in front of it and the card behind it and see what intuitive um, insights I can give you for your future. They've been really great, these little readings that I've been doing. Um, I've recorded four or five of them today. But anyways, um, thank you, Libra, for joining me. Um, did I just say Libra? Leo, excuse me. I Like I said, I've recorded so many of these today. This is my last one, and then I'm taking a break and I'm finishing recording tomorrow. Leo. Okay, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I'm a uh, Leo Venus sign. Uh, I love Leo, so thank you for the comments. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for being here. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I post new videos. And um, thanks for the good karma donations. And if you would like a personal private reading, all of my information is in the box below. I would love to do even one of these kinds of readings for you because they're super um, enlightening, actually. So um, just reach out to me. My information is in the box below. It's um, my email address where you want to contact me. And um, every like, every share, every comment helps us to grow. And we appreciate you so very much. So thank you. Um, all right. So let's let me look through this. <clears throat> Leo, I really wanted to make it kind of like a private shuffling for you. Um, and so, yeah, the cards feel good. Yeah, they're ready. They're ready. And I cut it three times before I... Um, so just give me a minute before... Oh, there they are. There they are. Very interesting. Very much at the... Okay, so yeah, I always think this is really insightful, too. The ver It's at the very, very end of the deck, okay? So you're at the very end of a cycle, a lesson, a healing, that sort of thing. Because the death card always speaks to transformation, rebirth, okay? Um, yeah, and very interesting, too, that one, two, three... Three cards in is the death card. There's three cards there. Yeah. And then I'm reading three cards, and I knocked three times, so <laughs> on my cards. So, yeah, you've got, like, you're in the divine flow. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling, like, the Ascended Masters uh, present and guiding you. Um, that's a master number, the, the three. So, and that's really super standing out to me. So, okay, here's the death card in this little mini, uh, line strider tarot. Let you see that very abstract artwork, but great for the intuitive muscles to interpret. You can see the sword going through the skull there, but also I see, you know, lots of blossoms and beauty that grow that blooms from death you know like when the forests burn it it's um the forest comes to life again if the forest burns down then that germinates the seed and it comes to life again and as we as we you know go through life's lessons we are transformed we are you know there it's a rebirth is what this, this card speaks of Okay. And that you, you are blossoming. You're at the end of the cycle. I mean, very, very end of whatever cycle you're going through right now, uh, Leo. And, um, it's a beautiful thing you, you have, I already feel like you have blossom. Okay. So, uh, it's like a resurrection. Yeah. Basically people get afraid of the death card in a, in a tarot and reading. And, um, I think it's a beautiful card, you know, cause it speaks to all those things that I just spoke of and it can be so enlightening. It can tell you so much. Okay. So what does spirit want you to let go of Leo? That's the ace of cups. Okay. And in this, I'm going to interpret the artwork and how I see it and what I feel here for what you need to let go of. The cups is, is a suit about, um, the emotions. Okay. And I see a lot of blue in this card. Okay, this is, look at this cat, Leo. Look at this cat. Okay, he's he's a big cat. 
He looks pretty, um, I don't know, by himself. He's got his own cup, though, you know, and his cup is rather large, too, okay? And he's surrounded in all this blue, which tells me that you've been through a healing. The, the blue, too, is on the throat of the cat. So that tells me, you know, a throat chakra healing, but also, like, about speaking your truths. And um, what does spirit want you to let go of when it comes to this? What I feel is feeling as though you are all alone. Like you have this full cup and you want to share it with others or a significant other. And you feel like you've been on your own and spirit wants you to let go of this feeling of being on your own because you're not. Your cup is full. So therefore, it's time to start showing it um, and giving of this emotional truths, okay? It's time to not keep your emotional truths to yourself, okay? It's time to start speaking your truth and sharing your wisdom through emotions, okay? You're not on your own. This cat may feel secure that way. But realize this is the this is what spirit's advice is to let go of this, this feeling. Okay. Because spirit wants you to embrace the sun. Look at this glorious card. Are you kidding me? It's so beautiful and bright and yellow, yellow and green. The yellow speaks to the solar plexus chakra, the green to heart healing, okay? You are this beautiful sun. You are this beautiful kind of energy. And that's what spirit wants you to embrace, your abundance, your love, your emotions, and share that with the world, you know? Doesn't the sun feel so good, right? when it's radiating its warmth. And that's what spirit's encouraging you to do, Leo. And you are magnificent at this, okay? You do exude love. But now spirit wants you to exude it through your words. Make your words sunshiny. Make your words full of heart healing and gratefulness. And the solar, you know, the solar plexus chakra is about, you know, really feeling your power, feeling your warmth, feeling your sincerity, okay? You are not alone. You are the sun. Everybody enjoys the sun, right? It makes us feel good. So share that kind of energy, Leo. You are not alone. You are not this cat who has to deal with their emotions on their own. Share it, okay? People learn from your wisdom. I almost actually even see like a cat face right there in the middle of that. Very interesting. I don't know. It's very abstract kind of image, but the daisies in this and the daisies to me too are always about a really, really bright, sunshiny kind of feeling, a friendly kind of love. Okay. So Ace of Cups, that's singularity. That's um, yeah, keeping your emotions to yourself, really wanting, really wanting to share your emotions though, like the spirit wants you to just let go of this feeling of, you know, you've got to keep it to yourself. No, you don't. It's important that you speak your truth and let out your emotions and you can be emotional with a partner too because you are this sunshine that the world needs okay so very very cool let's come in with um i really love that message for you leo yeah i don't read um tarot like typical readers do so i'm just going to make sure on the ace of cups that i'm on the right track with that I know what cup speaks to and whatnot, but I want to get all the interpretations. 
of it to make sure that I'm led, telling you to let go of all of the things that Spirit wants you to let go of so that you can move on. I mean, you're at the end of this cycle, this journey. Um, desire for a deeper connection. Yeah. Let go of the desire for this deeper connection because you have found this connection with yourself. You have, your cup has overflowed. Okay. So don't feel lack in this connection. The mo especially like with intimacy and, um, sensuality and emotions, you know, you embrace this new feeling that you're feeling and give it to yourself. And then your partner will, follow along that way too. If, if I'm speaking to somebody with a partner, okay, just exude the warmth of the sun in all, in your actions, in your words, you know, in your thoughts, because that's what you are. That's what spirit wants you to embrace. Okay. So yeah, I got the ace of cups right. But, yeah. Really wanting to, you know, express your intimacy with that ace of cups. I feel that that cat really wants to. And you will be able to now that you're the sunshine, Leo. It's bright and beautiful like a daisy. Like a daisy. Your thoughts are creating your reality right now, Leo. So make sure they're sunshiny thoughts. All right. Look at that beautiful dreamy colors around this. Wow. The purple and the orange and the blue and... Just a mix of all of that, of that emotionality, of that logic, of that um, power, of that intuition, all of that, all, all of that mixed together. Everything you're thinking is, you're creating it. Okay, so cre create something magical with a sunshine flavor. Why not create, a, re recreate your web, you know? Spirit says that's what's happening right now, so you might as well embrace it. If this reading resonated with you today, please do comment down below. I would appreciate it. And give me a thumbs up, okay? And I'll be back again soon with another reading. And until then, please do take care of you. And remember, you are never, ever alone, my dear sweet cats. You are the sun. And everybody adores the sun. Okay? Love you.